Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of circles. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic of circles, the question tells us that one of the diameters of a circle. So one of the diameters of the circle is equation is given to us as x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 13 equals 0 is a chord. So this diameter, one of the diameters of the circle is a chord of another circle C whose center, the center of this circle is point of intersection of lines 2x plus 3y is 12 and 3x minus 2y is 5. The question is asking us to figure out radius of this circle C. Let's see. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 4, 3 root 2, 6 and root 20. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question and find out. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make these solutions as easy as possible so you understand them very easily. Let's see how to solve this question. So first thing I can do here is I have been told for this circle C the center of this circle is can be found out by solving these two linear equations which are given to us simultaneously because it's told to us the center of circle C is point of intersection of these two lines. So if I have the two lines let's say and if I find the point of intersection I get the center of this circle C. So let's find. So I have one equation 2x plus 3y equals 12. The other equation 3x minus 2y equals 5. So if I want to make coefficients of one of the variables either of x or y same. Let's try to make y same. So if I multiply by 2, I'll get 6 here in the y. And here if I want 6 again, I'll multiply with 3. So I get here 6y with minus sign. So if I multiply the entire equation with 2, I get 4x plus 6y equals 24. The other equation becomes 9x minus 6y equals 15. Once I have the two equations with me, I'll just solve them. So 4x plus 6y is 24. The other is 9x minus 6y equals 15. And since it's plus 6 and minus 6, I can just add the two equations as it is. So I get from here 13x and 24 plus 15, 39. So x in this case becomes 39 divided by 13, which is 3. So I get the value of x as 3. Once I get the value of x as 3, I'll put that in one of the equations. Let's say in the first equation. So 2 into 3 plus 3y equals 12. So 3y equals 12 minus 6, which is 6. y in this case becomes 2. So I get x as 3, y as 2. And that basically becomes your center of circle. That is 3 comma. Now once I have the center of this circle, C for which they have asked us to find the radius as well. Before doing the question, let's come to the original equation of the circle given. And the question tells us one of the diameters of this circle is a chord of circle C. So first, let's find the center of this circle as well. So the equation given to us is x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 13 equals 0. So if I compare this with my general equation of the circle, x square plus y square, minus 2hx minus 2ky plus c is equal to 0. I get from here after comparison minus 2h is minus 10. That gives me h is 5. And if I compare this to I know minus 2k is 4. So from here I get k is minus 2. And we know center of the circle is given by the coordinates h comma k. So that's 5 comma minus 2. And once I get this I can also find the radius of this circle which is given to us. So radius of this circle given to us is square root of h square plus k square minus c. 
So from here I get square root of h square is 5 square. k is minus 2 square and minus c. c in this case if I compare it's 13. So I get from here 25 plus 4 minus 13. That gives me 29 minus 13 which is 16 and square root of 16 is 4. So I get the radius of the given circle as 4. Now, once I get that, I have gotten the center of the circle also. I have gotten the radius of the circle also. And the question tells me for this given circle whose center is 5 comma minus 2, one of the diameters of this circle is also a chord to the other circle. So basically, if I draw this, let's say, this is the diameter, let's say, for the circle. So if this is the diameter of the circle and it's telling you this diameter is also a chord to another circle. So if I draw another circle, let's say this. So this is my other circle and this is my first circle. So one of the diameters of this circle is a chord to another circle. Then the question also further tells us whose center so this is your circle C whose center is given to us as 3 comma 2. So let's say this is your center 3 comma 2. And then the question also tells us that if I'm drawing, let's say, a perpendicular, this circle to this, basically this will be a perpendicular. So this bisects this chord also. And if you see, actually this is bisecting the chord or I can say if I do not even draw perpendicular, if I just jo join this line, we know this being a diameter and this being the center of this pink circle, this becomes radius. So radiuses are equal. And whenever I join this, we know that if I a line bisects the chord, then it has to be perpendicular to the chord. So a line drawn from center of circle to the chord, if it bisects the chord, then that line is called perpendicular to the chord. So we have this perpendicular. Now, one more thing if I join here, let's say. So this is what we have to find, the center uh, radius of this circle C. So this is the distance we have to find. We have found the radius of this circle, pink circle, and that came out to become 4. So this distance is 4. Let's name this. Let's say A, B, and C. So for this triangle ABC, we know AC is 4. I can also find AB because I know the two coordinates with me. So let's find AB using distance formula if I do it. Square root of x2 minus x1, so 5 minus 3 the whole square, plus minus 2 minus 2 the whole square. So I get 2 square, which is 4, and minus, two, minus 4 square, which is 16. So that gives me square root of 20. So I have gotten square root of 20, but that's AB. Now I have to actually find BC. And I can see it's a right angle triangle. So I can just apply Pythagoras theorem that gives me BC square is AC square plus AB square. And that gives me AC square. It's basically if AC is 4, AC square is 16. AB is square root of 20. AB square is 20. So from here I get 16 plus 20 and that's 36. So BC square being 36, BC in this case becomes 6. And when I get BC is equal to 6, that's nothing but your radius of circle C. That is 6. And if I see that matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concept of circles. So we were given a general equation of circle. We compared and found the center and radius of this circle. For this, we also found the center of this circle C by solving the two linear equations simultaneously. Once we got that, we just found the distance between these two coordinates and applied Pythagoras theorem to get the radius of circle C. And that becomes 6. That matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us. here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. 
and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.